What is the best niche if you're a solo videographer trying to get some business? Well, I think it's real estate videography and in this video, I'm gonna tell you why. First things first, I've got some green tea with lemon. I've got some peppermint tea and some lemongrass and ginger tea all in one. And I have a mug that has an A on it because my name's Eamon. Am I crazy? Well, so for those of you that don't know, I've been in the real estate niche for about three years now. And you know, I've shot thousands of homes and worked with a bunch of different agents. So the first reason that I think real estate videography is the best niche, especially, you know, if you don't have any business at all and you're really just trying to get some business in the works because all you have to get is kind of one client. And yeah, the first reason is because real estate agents have a need for your service. You know, so I've worked in a bunch of different industries. I've done corporate videography, you know, I've worked with builders and, you know, several other different niches, right? And what I love about real estate is that, you know, if an agent wants to put a home on the market, they need media to do that. Whereas, you know, builders and, and all these other different niches, while they might want video and, you know, from my point of view and hopefully from your point of view as well, everybody needs video for their business to level up. So there's, you know, plenty of opportunity out there. But for a real estate agent to actually operate, they absolutely need media to actually put that on the internet to attract buyers to the home, right? They can't just, you know, put a photo of themselves up and be like, I'm selling a home, come check it out, you know? So this is huge because it takes away a very big barrier of you trying to convince somebody that they actually need your service. You know, as I said, there's a lot of people that, that, that think they want the service and potentially think that it's gonna help them. But, you know, it can be an uphill battle trying to convince them that they actually need it. And, you know, if you're not a strong salesperson and, you know, chances are if you're just getting into videography or, you know, you're in a different industry and you maybe want to change, maybe sales isn't your strong suit because, you know, you're probably an artist, right? You're a videographer at heart and that's what you're really good at. So selling might not come naturally to you and it's a skill that I've had to learn, right? But, you know, if you just want to skip that part and learn that on the job, then just go to an industry that actually needs it. And it's less of an uphill sell and it's more like, you know, you leveled out with them because they actually need your service. So the second reason I think real estate is the best niche for video is that your clients actually sell your product to somebody else, okay? So you don't even do the sellings. This kind of comes on from my last point. And I'm just talking about, you know, Australia, like I'm in Brisbane and, um, you know, this kind of happens Australia-wide. I'm not sure if this happens all over the world, but as far as I'm aware, this is how a lot of real estate agents operate across the world. So essentially what happens is because an agent, you know, they need your media and they are going to sell to a seller to actually get the home onto the market, right? The agent isn't actually gonna pay for the media themselves, right? Because, you know, what happens if they don't sell the house and all that sort of stuff, you know? And, and there's, there's parts where they might make a deal with the seller, but ultimately, you know, if a seller wants to put their home on the market, they have to pay for everything to actually get it on the market, right? And so part of that is the media. You know, they have to pay for the media, they have to pay for the advertising, all the copywriting and all that stuff. You know, that's an upfront cost for them. So this is really beautiful because I don't know any other niche where this happens. You know, if you can get a client, if you can get a real estate agent to commit to using you, then they will just go out and sell your service to the people that are actually paying for it. So you're never actually face to face, you know, with your customer selling. It's kind of like, you know, selling through a third party, which is just amazing for you as a videographer. Again, because you don't have to do all the selling. If a sales role doesn't come naturally to you, this is just so good because, you know, you can just do the thing that you're really good at. Now, obviously there is some sales involved in terms of if you actually want to get yourself a client, then you're going to have to do something above and beyond all of your competition in the area to essentially get them to commit to you and sell your services to the seller. But this is a huge advantage to the industry if you're trying to break into it. So the third reason is that you're never wondering where your next job comes from. You know, say that you have one client, right? And they love your work and you know, you're doing all of their listings for them and they get, you know, five listings a month, right? That's generally gonna be a pretty good operator as an agent, right? But if they love your work so much, the thing about media is that obviously people can see it. So chances are they're telling other agents that they work with to use you or just other people in the marketplace are seeing your media on the listings online. So again, compared to other industries like corporate videography, They'll be like, all right, we need a series of videos and you might get one huge job where, you know, it's a $50,000 contract and you've got to do, you know, three to four corporate videos for them or whatever. And then you shoot all those videos and then they never speak to you again, you know, because that's all they think they need. And, you know, they only want it for this one training series for their employees or something like that, right? And, you know, they're not thinking about, we need to do this every single month, you know? And again, if you're a great salesperson and you know how to provide so much value, 
then you can be quite convincing in terms of letting them know that they need that. But that's a whole other video, right? What I'm saying is that, you know, in real estate, essentially, they are going to get their listings and they are going to need media, as I said. And so pretty much you're guaranteed a job if that agent is going to get listings. And so, you know, if you're working with agents that are going to get listings and, you know, then they obviously know other agents, then the word can spread pretty quickly. And if you're providing high quality media and, you know, really good value, then, you know, you're going to be flooded with jobs and you're never going to be thinking, where is my next job coming from? right because agents need media so there's some level of kind of sustainability to this in terms of you're never just going to sell one thing and then wonder where the next job is coming from so the fourth thing and this is obviously subjective is the work is fun and exciting like i, I mean i personally find it really fun you know you're always going out to different homes shooting different locations and you know you can be creative all the time in terms of how do i want to shoot this home how do i want to make this look sick how do i want to stand out over all the other you know real estate videos in the area you're never bored essentially you know you're always doing something exciting and you're hanging out with real estate agents who are generally you know pretty chill people like you know they're sales people so you know so they're fun and easy to talk to you know and again you know if you go into a corporate environment chances are you know you know for example i've worked with some accounting firms and i don't want to say anything negative about accountants right but i wouldn't call that job the most exciting job i've ever done right you know, it's a piece of camera and an interview and you're setting up the lighting and it's all controlled environment and they say the thing that they need to say and then you've got to make them look exciting and then obviously capture B-roll, which makes accounting look exciting, you know? Again, I'm not saying that's not possible, but just personally, I find this line of work really exciting and it, it, you know, it's just fun all the time, so. So the fifth thing is that clients will be loyal to their media people, right? You know, agents like working with people because they're people, people. You know, if they like working with you and you provide enough value and you provide a high quality service, you know, quick turnaround, you know, you over deliver every single time and, you know, you're fun and easy to talk to on set. You know, you make them look good to their sellers. You know, when you go and you introduce yourself and say, hey, you know, I'm aiming, I'm gonna be shooting this house today. You obviously don't say that because you have a different name because you have a different cup with your name on it. It is an interesting blend, I will say that. So yeah, the flip side to this one is that, you know, chances are if you are new to the industry and you are trying to find new clients, then agents can be loyal to their current media guys, right? And so, yeah, you have to do something above and beyond to actually get their business in the first place. But again, that's a different video entirely and I will be covering that moving forward. So if you're interested in this, then be sure to subscribe. But yeah, once you've built that relationship and they know exactly what they're gonna get every time they order that product, and they can sell that to a seller for you because they know exactly yeah, what they're gonna get, then they will stay loyal to you as long as you obviously continue to deliver the same quality of work every single time, you know? So these are the main reasons why I think that real estate is the best niche for video, especially for you know people starting out or people that wanna to commit to an industry long term. You know, it's not going away anytime soon. If people are putting their homes on the market, then people are gonna need media. Even if real estate agents disappear, then you know people are still going to need that media to actually you know communicate the value of their home to the buyers you know whereas you know i'm sure there's a lot of other industries where you know again it's an uphill battle trying to sell to them you know so these are all the reasons why i think real estate is the best niche for video so look there's obviously downsides to this industry you know i'm not going to make it seem all airy fairy and, and wonderful you know it, it is a tough industry you will be working extremely hard you know, you will be doing some odd hours and you know, there's a lot of different reasons why real estate is hard, okay? It's definitely not all rainbows and sunshine. But in this video, I was just talking about the reasons why I think it's the best niche for video. So yeah, if you have any questions or thoughts on the matter, you know, any that I missed as well, if you are in the niche, then be sure to let me know. Um, but yeah, hopefully you got some value out of this video and um, I'll see you in the next one.